Could another Earth where on Earth trigger the Yellowstone supervolcano? Triggered earthquakes are a thing. However, and here's what's interesting. The science behind it doesn't affect Yellowstone and its many geysers, hot springs, fumaroles and mud pots. In fact, according to the man responsible for nurturing Yellowstone's eruptions and bubbles, Mike Poland, any idea of Yellowstone triggering a supervolcanic event is, according to scientific terminology, a bunch of bullshit. Poland is one of several geophysicists whose cell phones start ringing every time an earthquake occurs near Yellowstone. Or, in this case, not very close. He works at the Cascades Volcano Observatory and is the scientist in charge of the Yellowstone Volcano Observatory YVO, a consortium of nine partners formed in 2001 with the sole task of monitoring the Yellowstone National Park area every minute of every day. Yellowstone itself has been home to about 1,000 small earthquakes per year since 1973. That's an average of 2.7 earthquakes per day, according to the U.S. Geological Survey. The only thing more common than Yellowstone earthquake swarms are stories about Yellowstone earthquake swarms which may indicate a big earthquake is about to occur. CSD's own Bill Sniffen wrote one hype job for the Uinta County Herald in 2017. We did feel hesitant to contact the scientists responsible for the Yellowstone Shake Factory. He acted as if he knew the call was coming. That is an understandable thing. You see a pretty strong earthquake and you wonder if it will impact Yellowstone. And usually the answer is no, Poland said, reducing our story to one sentence. What about Turkey? Wouldn't that emphasize the fault lines and cause something else somewhere in the world to go against it? Mike was very patient with us, and once again the answer was. First of all, magnitude 7 earthquakes are nothing new. There have been 43 cases since 2000, and that's not unusual, Poland said. Of course, events that cause destruction and loss of life like this are noteworthy events, but if we had to answer the Yellowstone question, every time M7 hit the Earth, we would be on the phone every month. Poland acknowledges that large earthquakes, on rare occasions, can cause other fault lines to add pressure and possibly trigger an earthquake. And seismic waves caused by large earthquakes can produce acoustic energy that spreads around the world. But could someone in Turkey stumble across Alaska that ignited Yellowstone? Definitely not, Poland said. It's very rare for an earthquake to trigger volcanic activity. We know this, in part, because in 1959 there was an M7.2 earthquake on the northwest border of Yellowstone and it didn't result in a major eruption, Poland said, referring to the Hebgen Lake earthquake on August 17, 1959. This changed some of the behavior of the geysers because they flowed around the underground duct system, but that's all. The last major eruption at Yellowstone occurred about 70,000 years ago, Poland said, and featured lava flows. Since then, there have been thousands of strong earthquakes in the region and none has triggered an earthquake like a supervolcano, Poland assured. Poland added that the magma beneath Yellowstone is mostly solid and not yet ready to erupt. 